Welcome to the start of Series 2 here from Ohio Richlands. Oh boy, we've got a lot of fun for today. We're going to be spending some money. We're going to be making some money. This, this little box has 200,000 liters of bread. Oh yeah, we're starting it off with a bang, baby. These have got a lot as well, but I don't know what we're going to do with it because the stupid bakery can only take so much and it takes forever. But I think what I'm going to try to do in Series 2 is focus more on oils. As a matter of fact, I have planted some canola here. Uh, it's ready to be harvested. We are currently 11 months since you guys saw us. Yeah, I think we ended in August or September. Well, it is now July of the next year. There's a lot of other things that have changed as well. For example, our cattle are doing pretty darn good. As you remember, maybe... I don't know if I did this old screen or not, but I have 200 of them now. Uh, I think we had 80. I bought another 120. Well, they are not only doing well, but they are adults now, 23 months, and their 60% reproduction rate ready to go. So soon, instead of having 200, we're going to have 400. I also want to maybe expand the farm a little bit. So, of course, we have this area right here. We've got Farmland 3, which is our farm. And then we have Field 2 right here. Well, I would love to maybe sell uh, Field 2 and possibly either get into 24 or possibly 3, 23, something like that. Uh, the end goal, of course, is to own farm or uh, Field 8 and Farmland 30 right here. That is the end goal because that's the biggest map, our biggest field, biggest area. That's what I want. And I think after we get everything sold, we could possibly own all of that. So that's that's really, really, really what I'm hoping. So let's load it up, baby. Bread is going in. Um, I have taken the time, those 11 months or whatever it was, and I have not actually stopped doing stuff. I have worked this entire time doing things we do need to make sure that we're selling bread at the right place so yeah let's do that let's see 5600 that is campground restaurant i don't think i've ever been there before uh oh uh i'm, I'm jumping to the first person there we go the game's not frozen it's just you know what i'll do that later i also had to reset my cash because i had an issue so now the trees are strobe lights again for some reason yeah, I can't, I can't explain it too much. But in that time, what I did was I went through and we've done, I think, two harvests, two total harvests. Uh, I did an oats and I did a wheat. Ooh, a little, little fast. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. There we go. Uh, so we've done all of that and I've actually sold some equipment as well. I don't know if I've bought anything crazy. I did get that big windrow loading wagon, but it's just because bailing was starting to become a pain. This, doing it that way is a whole lot easier. This is actually a new place. I've never been here before. What is this, an ATV park? All right, real quick, before we go in there and sell this bread, I've got to look at this. Yo, check this out. Ohio Public Campground, ATV Nature Park, off-road fun, mud, long run, and much more accessible 24-7. How cool is that, dude? Oh, that's so cool. We should have our cell point right around the corner down here, if I remember correctly. And what we'll do is we're just going to kind of leave it. 200,000 liters is going to take a long time to sell. So we are going to make our way around. We can go ahead and stop that. Let's jump into this because I want to go ahead and get this running. I also want to get its buddy too. This guy. This is the one I want. The Lexian 730-780 from 2017. I want this one because it's got our access for the largest header and the most amount of horsepower. I've also modified them ever so slightly to hold 100,000 liters of crop, but everything else is there and nothing has been changed. Speaking of change, we had a little bit of change going on around here. So our harvester's kind of the same. As I mentioned, got ourselves one of those. There it is. And I sold the gooseneck. So we no longer have the big auto-loading gooseneck. There's no reason to have it. This is still our tipper of choice when it comes to carting and that type of thing. So, now well, let's jump right in here and let's get it rock and double check. Make sure our straw swath is enabled. Yes, it is. And all I gotta do is go to work. <laughs> let's do it, man. As I mentioned right at the start, I think series two is going to be more focused around oils or other productions rather than the grain mill. We probably got enough flour in there to last. Oh. 
I forgot to dump the flour. Yeah, that was about bad, wasn't it? Let's bring this over. Let's dump that right there. We do have a lot going on in here, up to 520,000 liters of flour, but well, we've got a bunch of that. And I have way, way too much flour. Jumping over here, you can see we've still got 79,000 liters of wheat and 125,000 liters of oats. And uh, well, flour, there's really nothing in there right now. This should be close-ish to being finished. No, this it's gonna still take this a little bit of time. I'm gonna let him rock and roll do his thing. Ooh! We're sold. Look at that at the top. 1.128 bajillion dollars. Well, that's good. Look at that. We are 1.5 mil now. Almost 1.6. Well, that makes DJ Gohan very happy. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I just need to remember auto load this way. I do set it up like this inside the trigger versus uh, not inside the trigger. Uh, unlike the old version, this new version doesn't just kind of drop from the sky and exist it actually has to place the pallets down first so this guy is right on the money but this one we sit like this because i can run three at a time with that that's why i run two yeah is that confusing maybe a little bit ah yes where was i here we are so this is currently the second time that i'm recording this video i've actually recorded most of this already but uh that was unfortunately where i struggle bust See, I decided that it would be a great idea to play for about four or five hours on a different computer, a uh, computer in the living room, so, you know, sit down on the couch and have a good time. Well, that's where I spent those 11 months in game. And when I came back, the game was gone because one of the files had not saved correctly through Steam. So, uh, I lost my career game save, loaded it back in, and it turns out that the i3d for that was somehow <laughs> i don't know how this happened but it was somehow different than the one that it was supposed to be so all of the trees that i had deleted all of the bushes that i had deleted were back and i kept hitting things and i was like why am i hitting things i haven't hit anything in a minute and that is why because the i3d was different so uh I couldn't do any placeables, couldn't place anything down. When I did, the game froze. I couldn't delete anything. When I did, the game froze. And then it would crash, and it would stick me back out. So, moral of the story, always record episode 11 twice. And I think that'll do us just fine. Also, I know there's trees strobe lighting in the background. I apologize. I do want to be clear, uh, none of that issue was a Steam issue, I don't believe. Um, as far as I could tell, the entire issue itself uh, all comes down to uh, Steam and that type of thing. Not not the game, nothing like that. Did I say Steam? No, I think it was Steam's fault, actually. <laughs> Plus, I was going back and forth between Windows 11 and Windows 10. So maybe that's that. Who knows? I do all my recording on Windows uh, 11 now. Anyway, uh... Good, uh, good conversation there. Good convo. I am going to uh, go and finish this field. Let's do it. Here's something that really gets me excited because I'm going to be using a loading wagon to pick all this stuff up. Not just any loading wagon, but like that wild and crazy one that I've got. I don't have to stop at the end. Of course, the worker's going to for me, but all I got to do is whoop, and then line back up. <laughs> there we go. We have got one of our two fields done. The one that doesn't take very long, to, to be fair. 36,000 liters in, so that means we're gonna do pretty good when it comes to doing all the oils and things like that. By the way, we still gotta place the oil factory down. Uh, I may have forgot to do that. Rock and roll, jumping in on the second field. This one won't take too long either. We still have to pick up everything. Uh, as far as the straw that we get goes, we're still not doing anything with that. So we're selling it directly, and then we're still buying straw for our cattle. It's just a little bit easier and <laughs> much, much cheaper that way. We're going to miss it yeah, every time we miss that spot. That's all right. Not to worry about there. Uh, we also need to go in and feed said cattle because I think they've got about 100,000 liters of food left. So at least before the end of today, we will try to feed them. Hey, yo, check this out. I figured out how to make the worker do this right every time. <laughs> Just go straight across through there. Of course, I'm doing this myself right now, but when I come back through, let the worker do it, 
They always screw that up for some reason. So you know what I don't have to do? No, I just get really close to the edge and all good. Man, you may notice there's some trees missing down here at the end of the field. Yeah, I deleted those. Much easier without them. I also deleted some trees down here on the end as well, right close to this field. It was just a little bit too close. And every time I hit hire a worker, sometimes it would just get caught up on a tree or two over here. Not that bad, but now, <laughs> not at all. And there you go. They go through on their own. Still miss a little bit here and there. Plus we get real close to the trees, kind of uncomfortably close to the trees as we go down. I did not line this up good. This is on me. Oof. All right, let's see. How close can we get to these trees without hitting them? Or will our guy just quit? Yeah, he just quit. <laughs> no better than nothing, I guess. It does always make me laugh. For this field, the headland gets you more than that field over there does. Should miss a little bit right here. Yep. Every time. Every time we miss that little spot, which is one of the reasons I cannot wait to move to a bigger field. Easy way to get these. Just boom, come the other way for whatever reason. Going the opposite way, they go just fine. Maybe I should just go the opposite way every time for those. <laughs> Who knows? All right. So now that we've done all of that, we got 38,000 liters in here, which ain't too bad, but let's go fill up quick. I am going to go ahead and hire him on a worker and let him rock and roll do his thing right here. So now that that's there, I need this guy right here because we are going to go pick up all of the straw. Well, and then sell it and nothing else to do with it. And contrary to some of the other tractors I've used this with, uh, this tractor, it's not that it has a tough time doing it, but it does kind of feel a little sluggish. Maybe it's just having a bad day. Who knows? But I do know that it picks everything up just fine. So this, this isn't going to take us very long at all. And this is probably where we'll make a decent amount of money as well. I'm guessing 200,000. 250,000 total for this. Huh? We got 1.6 right now. We'll see what we got when we're all said and done. Thanks, man. Literally. <laughs> Thanks, bro. It's it's this combine's fault. It ain't mine. Don't don't for a second think that it's my fault and that I pulled in front of him and that my brakes didn't work as good as I wanted them to. Now's a good time to go ahead and empty this while we're at it. Um yeah. Dude, that was that was this I, wasn't my fault. Shut up. Now that you're unloaded, don't do anything stupid. Nothing. None of the stupid stuff. Got it? You gonna behave? They're not gonna behave. Well, I'm not saying I'm slacking, but I will say that I got up and got a snack real quick. <laughs> Let the harvester do his thing. Unfortunately, the harvester's just about done, man. This whole field's just about done. And I got a whole lot to do, but at least I can go the same speed that the harvester is and I can pick up two runs at a time. So let's go ahead and grab this bad boy. Let's fire him up. Uh, we got about 76,000 liters in it right now. I don't know if this trailer is going to fill up or not, but we're going to be real close and we should probably prepare it for delivery no matter what, regardless. Also, um, I don't know what happened, but this mod, whatever, I had all these issues. It just quit working. Cool. All right, well, it hold all but 745 liters, so I think we'll be probably be able to hit the rest of this. So now that that's doing it, I'm going to go through and see how much straw I can pick up, and we'll see who finishes first. Probably him. I just realized you're probably wondering why I've got straw coming off of canola. Well, we got the uh, straw crops mod, and now that makes it nice and easy. Also, we got about 87,000 percent, 87,000 percent, 87 percent. We're going to go ahead and sell all of this straw right here <laughs> now that we're uh, we're down here. We got a little bit more and haven't done a sell yet. And we're definitely not not going to be uh, going to be hitting the 200 sub thousand dollar uh, percentage. I think for a full trailer, we get around 140 to 150 thousand dollars. But there's no way we're getting more than that. It is going to sell them basically instantly. So we got 133. Not bad. Not 144. Not 244. Okay. And we are almost done, at least with this part of everything. Uh, we're 1.73 million. Swipe. Got it. 
We got another 205,000 liters in here. And the magic number for the straw today is... Boop. 30 grand. Okay, so about 160-ish, whatever it was, thousand dollars for straw. So we're at... 1.7, it's not awful. Okay, so here is the game plan. We need to take all of this canola, which we've got some more up in the combine harvester up there, and we need to create a, oh boy. Uh, we, got, we got to do another production chain. <laughs> so we're going to make an oil mill now. And we're gonna take the oil mill and take all this canola. We may do some sunflowers as well. That's a great idea, or maybe even olives, if we decide to do a smaller field of olives, that might be something interesting. I don't think I've done olives yet. The game's been out for well over a year at this point. I should have done olives by now. Something else I want? That big field. I want it so bad. So here's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and buy this farmland right here. Um, it's valued at 1.6 million, and I have 1.7. And I want it. So, it's mine. <laughs> and I am going to sell uh, farmland number two. I think it's filled two as well. We're going to sell this one. It is a very small area. We don't really need it. We also don't really need this area either, but yeah, the, the game's kind of broke, so I don't want to cheat too hard. Uh, we do want to go ahead and place down an oil mill down here. Let's turn that off. That's going to get annoying. Save the game. Before we do anything, save this game. That way we don't get ourselves in trouble. We'll go in here. I need to get my productions. We need our factories. There they are. I think this is it. That is not it. Oil mill? There we go. Right here. And I'm going to get it fairly close-ish to this guy. I think that's pretty straight on. Oh, no, it is not straight on. So we can... Adjust this however we want. We'll come out just a little bit, just so I can see. Right about that. Uh-oh. I pushed the wrong button. Um. Okay. That's where our oil mill is going to be now. Everything will come out towards the side right here. And that's where we'll put everything in. I'm an idiot. One of the nice things, at least with this, is the production chain itself is it once the oil is done there's nothing else to do with it at least base game wise so we will continue to keep it exactly the way that it is however i i need more capacity <laughs> my capacity is not high enough so we are gonna have to upgrade this for eighty-eight thousand. there we go that capacity raised just a bit didn't it from 125 to 540 whatever it is thousand that's, oh wait, hang on, wrong one, oil mill down here. Okay, so we need to do this probably one more time. And I don't think we could do it again. Nope, we do not have enough money. Perfect, okay, so we've got canola in there. We need to activate our canola. And I think we're good, yeah? Okay, let's go ahead and dump some, uh, dump another round in there. Oh, oh, right, we got a little bit more. Here it is. The last little bit and the last bit goes in there is one other thing that i want to do just real quick i do want to come through here maybe flatten this out a little bit i know that it's well kind of in line here but i really can't see where the other end of that is so uh well there is one thing as well I have to actually you know what i may leave it but we do need one thing we need ourselves a global good liquid palette we're gonna go with the unreal capacity and we need a cool color that stands out yellow it is auto load i don't i don't, I don't know where the thing is so i'm just i'm just gonna put it like right here maybe that that might work but i don't know for sure guess we'll find out 